This guide shows how to install the Sync Lounge Docker container and set it up on Unraid. Sync Lounge used to be called Plex Together. They had to change their name because Plex was cracking down on services that used their name. If you've heard of Plex Buy, the same thing happened to them. So Sync Lounge allows multiple people to watch the same Plex video file and sync over the internet. It kind of mimics enjoying the same content on the same TV. First, you want to go to the Community Applications tab on your Unraid server. Search for Sync Lounge. At the time of this video, there was only one Docker available. Go ahead and click the download button. When selecting the network type, you need to select the network that Let's Encrypt is set up to use. I will link a video made by Space Invader 1 who describes how to set up Let's Encrypt on Unraid and what the custom proxy net network I have here means. Below you will change the domain's variable value to be your domain. If you are using a subdomain like I am, be sure to include the subdomain, domain, and TLD in this box. This is used in the URL that Sync Lounge creates when you generate an invite for someone to join your Sync Lounge room. When you're finished here, scroll down and select Apply. The container will install. Next, you'll add a CNAME to your domain's DNS. In my case, I use Cloudflare. Here, I have already added the CNAME for Sync Lounge that points to a dynamic DNS instance that runs through DuckDNS. After the CNAME is set up, you will now add a proxy config file to your Let's Encrypt container. Navigate to your app data folder. I have my app data folder mapped to a network drive that I can access from my Windows machine. Open the Let's Encrypt folder, then the ngINx folder, then the proxy configs folder. Scroll down until you find the syncloungesubdomainconf.example file and open it in a text editor. If you're on Windows, I recommend Notepad++. Normal Notepad has formatting issues when you save this file. In my case, the example config file is already set up correctly. I will then resave the file without the .example extension on the end. Now you need to edit your Let's Encrypt container to add the new subdomain. In the Docker tab in Unraid, left-click the Let's Encrypt icon and select Edit. Scroll down to the Subdomains field and add Sync Lounge to the list. Click Apply and wait for the container to restart. Navigate to SyncLounge.Domain.TLD that you have been setting up in this tutorial. You will first be asked to sign into Plex. There are three steps to this process. Choosing a player that you will use to watch the Plex video, selecting a server, and setting up a room with a password. For the first step, select Sync Lounge Player. This is the option that I have experience with. In step two, you will see a few public servers that the Sync Lounge creators have set up. You will want to scroll down and put in your custom server URL that is being hosted by the Unraid Docker. Make sure to put slash sl server at the end. For step three, you will type in a room name and a password. After this, you are ready to start inviting people to watch Plex videos together. Once you have successfully set up a room, you can invite others to join the room by clicking the invite button at the top right. This will copy an invite link to your clipboard that you can send to friends. Here I'll paste it in the browser on the right to mimic someone else joining the room. The invited person will have to select their player before they join. To watch a video together in sync, the master session can select any Plex video to start playing. The clients will all have the video start in their players and will automatically be synced. The master is able to pause and play the video while the clients follow suit. That is it for this video. Make sure to watch the Space Invader 1 videos I have linked for help setting up Let's Encrypt and other Unraid tutorials. He goes into great detail about the process and he does it in a very easy to follow way. Thanks for watching.